Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the tag video and I am not prepared, we can start it like that. I am not prepared, so we just start into this video. I am thinking about doing this video for a while, but I am not prepared because I was filming another video and then I was just like, do we have something more to film? And I have this one, so we just do this. And this is the colorful makeup tag and this is made by Anya. I will leave her channel and video down in the description. But I have seen this at Annette's makeup corner. I also leave her channel and video down in the description. And I really wanted to do this because it seems like a fun tag. So we just get started and I don't know how many questions this is. I don't like when people do tag videos and don't write like question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you have to count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, why do I counting in English? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I think it's 9 questions if I can count. Maybe I cannot say, I don't know. <laughs> today, I don't know. I have been so confused today, so we will see how this go. Maybe not that good, and I have mascara up here. I haven't taken that away. Okay, we just go and I stop babbling. When and why did you start using color? And I, it was sometime this year, I think. I wanted for a really, really, really long time to use colors, but I didn't think it suited me. I didn't think I was any good at it. And I didn't think it was my thing to have colors on my eyes. I have had it on my lips, but for the eyes I didn't think it was my thing. So it has to be this year. I am pretty sure that I start to use colors um, like this. And why? I have looked at so many channels that uses colors like this. And uh, it was absolutely Paulina's beauty that get got me into this thing and also other channels and inspiration and that now it's more common with colorful looks than it was two three years ago especially here in sweden and this is not so common in sweden it's not many makeup cha beauty channels in sweden does this in swedish um I think it's only like Margareta Gras that is doing that and she also has been an inspiration for me. So yeah, <laughs> that's why and when. Next question is what is your favorite color to wear? And if you have been here for a while you know which color it is and it's <laughs> yellow and orange and a little bit of red. Um, I love orange shadows. I have a lot of foreign shadows and I have a lot of yellow shadows and these are my favorite colors to use. It's like hard for me not to use these kind of colors so orange and yellow and a little bit of red. Um, next question is what is your go-to colorful combination <laughs> that is orange and yellow? Um, if I don't know what to do I do something orange and yellow because it's always looks good it suits my eye color i think and i like it so orange and yellow is my go-to color combo next question is who are your favorite influencers to follow that inspire you you color wise and i don't follow a lot of influencers the influencers i follow it, it matters what you call as an influencer the typical influencers I follow, they don't look like this. But I have some people that inspire me to this. And it's Paulina and Angelica Nyqvist, Margareta, Ebba, Ebbs Makeup. I can leave the, the ones have, that have channels, I leave down in the description. The ones that only Instagram, I <laughs> link their Instagram down in the description. And also Sandra Thor, Annette <laughs> inspires me as well, so, but not any typical influencers, influencers, I don't know, even know what, not somebody that works as an influencer, maybe we should say that. 
if that does make any sense, I don't know. What do your family and friends think of your colorful makeup style? I usually don't <laughs> go like, I don't go like this to work because I don't wear makeup to work. And if I'm meeting my friends or anything, I don't go like this either. I have an easy makeup then, maybe I doesn't even wear makeup. And my boyfriend is the one that sees me like this the most and he he doesn't like this as much as he like a neutral thing and he like orange and like brown. I think he's okay with this one but when I do like super green eyes or something he's like mm, I don't really like it. But I I don't know what they think because I don't go out like this and I do but not when I'm if I'm meeting a friend for coffee, I don't drink coffee. If I'm meeting a friend for like a Pepsi or something, I don't do my makeup like this because it's probably after work and I don't go home, do my makeup and then go out to drink a Pepsi. And I do not go out clubbing or drinking or partying. Is there a color that you are looking for a perfect formula with? And I think I'm looking for the perfect yellow. I have tried a lot of good yellows. Today I have a good yellow on. But they are not like... I want like a neo... neo -y, neon? Bright, vibrant yellow. I don't... I think it's hard to do good yellow shades. But I want something that is really punch in your face yellow that you don't have to build up. This is a good yellow. This is for the Fall Fusion palette by Blush Tribe. It is a good yellow but I want something more because this you have to build up a little bit. I want it to be like this color but yellow so I want it to be super creamy, super bright, just perfect. Uh, I haven't found anyone like that yet. But that's, I, I wish for the like perfect, creamy, bright, vibrant yellow. I hope you understand what I mean. Would you rather wear neutral lip color and a colorful eyeshadow or, or colorful lips and a neutral eyeshadow for the rest of your life? If you have asked me like two years ago, I would say a neutral eye and a colorful lip. Now I will say the opposite. I will wear this like this colorful eyes and this neutral lip for the rest of my life because I think it's more fun with eyeshadows than with lip colors right now and I have yeah I think it's more fun with colorful eyes you can do more with colorful eyes than you can do with colorful lips in my opinion and you slap on your eyeshadow and it's there if you slap on a colorful lipstick and then you go out or eat or anything and doesn't look good. So I would rather have a colorful eye and a neutral lip. Uh, what is your opinion on glitter? Love it, hate it, why? Um, I don't love it and I don't hate it. Uh, I don't use <laughs> glitter. I think it feels you have to have a glitter glue and it gets stuck everywhere. But I think I like the look of it. Now somebody's eating. I hope she doesn't bother us too much. I like the look of it, but I don't I don't use it. I think I should use it more. But I just see before my eyes how I get glitter in my eyes, how I get glitter like everywhere on my face, on my clothes, on my table, on my pants. It feels like a nightmare. <laughs> It feels like it's going to be glitter everywhere and I it gets stuck and it gets in my hair and everything. So I don't love it, I don't hate it, but I want to use it more. But a part of me doesn't want to use it because I just see this nightmare before my eyes that everything bad is going to happen. But I will try. 2019 maybe be the year when I will start using glitter. I don't know, but we can hope. Uh, the last question is, what is your go-to colorful eyeshadow palo palo <laughs> palette at the moment? And I think it's the Creepy Cute from Strobe. Um, I have... 
I have noticed this noticing this again. That's not how you say it. Um, it's this one. It's not a big palette. It's a small palette, but I feel inspired by this, and I want to use it like all the darn time. So this is the colorful palette. Do you even call this colorful palette? But it is colorful palette. So yeah, this one is at the moment my favorite colorful palette. Yeah, and that was all the questions. I will leave the question down in the description box if you want to do it yourself. And also, don't forget to check out Anya, that is the creator of this tag. And I really hope you liked this video, and I see you in the next one. Bye!